Hey, what is up, everybody? Before the video starts, here's the response from Grayson. And um, basically, yeah, we're gonna hop in the game right after. Hey, what is up, everybody? Hey, it's Timo here. In today's video, we're gonna be playing on a Black Baryon. Pretty much, this is the build that we're gonna be running. Tree Pelt, Grey Wolf Gloves, Brave Hunter Pants, Cloak of Darkness. Um, Whatever this word is, pronounce it for me, please. And Lightfoot Boots. Pretty much the rest is self-explanatory. The stats, very basic, good amount of action, good amount of move speed, 26 PDR, we could get more PDR if you'd like to, but I'm not stressing out too much, I don't really bother for the most part. And the key ingredient is per dish. The build is Crush, Chugger, Axe Specialization, Robust, Achilles Strike and Rage. We're gonna be playing a little bit of solos, we're gonna be playing a little bit of duos as well in today's video. It's been a minute since the last time I played in duos, so I think the time has come and it's time to change things. Time to play a little bit of duos with Skinny Pit. So we're gonna hop in the game, we're gonna try clap some cheeks. Hopefully we will do well. If for some reasons you will see that my build has changed from the current, it means we died somewhere along the line. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And yeah, by the way, don't forget to subscribe because only 31.6% of people who are watching my channel have subscribed, the rest did not. Consider to press subscribe button if you're interested in a variety of dark and darker content. Anyway, we're gonna hop in the game, we're gonna clap some chicks, and I hope you enjoy today's video. Alright everybody, so this video is gonna be a little experiment. Pretty much it's gonna be an entire video, solo voice over it, and uh, we'll get to see how well it's gonna perform. So basically, it's up to you to decide whether or not you like it. And based on that, we'll see whether or not I'm gonna make more videos I like in the future. The whole thing, I'm gonna voice over, I'm gonna explain each and every step I do at uh, every single point. As for now, just enjoy how I kill this ranger. Um, so pretty much, yeah, we got one kill so far. I asked Skinny Pit what is he up to, and um, basically the homie said he was doing fine and he doesn't really need my help, I'm like, bad. I'm gonna take some meds and I'm gonna come to your assistance, and that's exactly what I did. I run directly to the trolls room, basically that's where the skinny pit was uh, fighting the ranger. I love fighting rangers, I already have enough experience and my build works perfectly well, especially when it comes to fighting other rangers. Usually people don't expect that when in duos, when you play duos, a barbarian will have a rage, because rage and Achilles isn't the ideal combination for duos, but not when you know what you're doing. If you know what you're doing, you will utilize the skills and you will be able to catch people off guard just like that. This combination of skills is the perfect combination, especially when it comes to fighting rogues, rangers, warlocks, wizards, pretty much all the meta. Currently, if you're running in duos for the most part, the ideal option for the most may seem like it's the Savage Roar, but it's not. Pretty much the moment you get an advantage over a player, the whole fight could end in just a matter of seconds. And pretty much all I did is I slowed the guy down and before the skinny Pete even was able to get to assistance, the ranger was already dead. Pretty much we secured the kill and uh, went on into the next game. Alright, so pretty much when we play with Skinny Pit, we do very usual. We just rush every single spawn. Basically, when you play in duos, um, people don't move around the map as fast as they do in solo. So pretty much it's very easy to come across team. First thing we see is the combination of a fighter. The very first thing that I do is I miss up and I use m lose my opportunity to hit the guy with Achilles Strike which will secure us a free kill, but unfortunately I fucked up, but it's not that big of a deal. Homies are fucking shitting their pants, running away best their abilities, but they can't really do much about it. They already messed up big time, the homie didn't even put his sword out. I was able to secure the kill with the help of Skinny Pete, and right after I completely body checked this fighter who thought too much of himself. Pretty much after hitting him three times in the head, the homie decided to take a nap in the middle of the raid. And basically, yeah. The gear was right, by the way, definitely not bad. It could be better, but uh, this time around, I let Skinny Pit took most of the stuff. The homie needed a little bit of assistance, so he scooped up all the cheese while I was answering DMs. At some point, we went to the mid room to try and find some PvP. We didn't get to come across anyone up until a point I heard the weird sound. Apparently the sound was coming from behind and I was like, wait a second, what the fuck do I hear? 
So pretty much I went down, I saw the center pit circling around. And at that point, I noticed one thing in particular, we have a team coming to our left. And uh, basically, there was an option whether we fight a person to the right. I tried to push to my right, I tried to hug the door, the homie decided to just die, basically, and it, that's exactly what he did. Pretty much, I tried to body block him from getting in that doorway, and if he would try to do so, he would have died a few seconds earlier. Skinny Pete was having a little trouble here, but overall it wasn't that much big of a deal. Came across a druid, usually the druid is genuine cancer. He tried to turn a bear, I barely was able to dodge, but somehow the homie did not end up dying. I tried to throw him some Francesca access, it didn't work. I got carried away and I stumbled across a team of two, um, Warlock and the Ranger. Skinny Pete tried to get all his HP back and we recommitted to the fight right after. Ranger and the Warlock, good combination, especially when you're playing on a bar. Question is, what are they supposed to do, especially when it comes to a fight? Do they have any chances, options? The homie tried to blast me with um, multi-shot, but little did the homie know. Realized there is a guy right below, and the warlock could fucking wait. I decided to go down and kill the person who is getting resurrected. Pretty much, I tried to hit, my fucking attack went through. And um, I realized it did mess up a little, but it wasn't that bad. The Warlock jumped down, which was really good, pretty much. They got separated. He used the Phantomize way too early, and now we have an opportunity to actually be on him. Ranger is on top, Warlock is below. It's 2v1, I'm getting my HP back. Warlock ended up getting back on top, and now we are right below. So pretty much, none of them really put that any threat. And basically, we just said, hey, how about we heal up? and go from both directions. He would take one of the elevators, would go up, the moment once uh, one of us is on top, we'll just simply fucking clap those chicks. Warlocks and the Ranger. It's basically a very good defensive build, but when it comes to fans, what are they fucking supposed to do? But um, basically, it's good when it comes to defense, only if you have a good ground. But uh, the problem with the elevator, this is not the best place to defend, unless you have like 20 fucking traps down. I don't think this guy had any, and basically we just proceed to chasing him. I threw a bunch of uh, Francesca at him, I missed an opportunity to hit him, Skinny Pete stupid and trap. I've noticed one thing in particular, he's trying to lead me in the trap, so I try to not die to a fucking multi-shot. The moment I saw the thing out, I realized that if I don't dodge it, I die. The Warlock tried to push, he used the Phantom Eyes, and basically... The best play would be right here, to walk toward that archer and kill him, but I didn't do it. Basically, he fucked off, and I stepped in a trap. Perfect outcome. Skinny Pete was messing around with the Warlock, I was messing around with the Ranger's loot. Pretty much I took all the stuff, I waited for the guy to turn in the Phantom Eyes. That's basically the end of this homie's life, there is absolutely nothing in the world that could save him. Pretty much I probably shouldn't even have bothered in his throw Francesca X. I pull out my bar dish, I hit him pretty hard, the way the door fell down was kinda fancy, not gonna lie. It's not a common way for a... <laughs> the homie tried to body block me so that I'll get pushed. But little did the homie know that I punch like a fucking truck. I clock him in the face, he dropped like a dead weight. Um, basically, Skinny Pete tried to loot him. I fucked off back to the ranger's body, I had to loot him up until the point when um, Skinny Pete was ambushed by a group of two people, so I decided to go and assist him. We tried to chase them down, but unfortunately they extracted. We decided to just take the best stuff and leave the raid, we only have a few minutes left. A little later down the line we came across two players that tried to take our portals. I also received a message from the big fan of mine. Skinny Pete parried a fucking icicle and I took an extract. So far definitely not a bad game and even if we end up losing we already have multiple thousand gold of profit. Team in front south. Sometimes later, I came across a team, I let the skinny pit know that we have a team in front. I got free buffed, I got two shields just in case. I got power, I got extra damage, I came across a wizard, and if not for those buffs, I would have been fucking dead here by the way. 
Skinny Pete did his best, but I was already low HP and my best bet would be to heal up. I double fucking clicked and I fat fingered and as a result I nearly fucked it up. I went down to the room with the centipede, I used the potion of protection just in case so that I don't die to a fucking arrow. I want to drag the centipede out so I will be able to use the heal shrine. On the way to the staircase I try to use every bandage I have. My best bet would be to recommit to a fight as soon as possible before the fighter get all his stuff back. The problem though is that... Even though he used the second win, he is already full HP and he is my direct counter. In order for me to win this fight, I would have to commit multiple times in, and basically I'd literally have to throw every single Francesca at him. So far I only hit him once and it's not good enough, I already lost half my HP. My best bet would be to push away and utilize the potion of chugger. I still have bandages and basically the time is on my side. As long as I just simply use pots and heal up, I'm gonna be in a winning situation because I will end up to full HP a lot faster than he is. My best bet would be to make sure that I fight him when he doesn't have a sprint, so I have to wait it out. I start the fight with the fake into a stab. I use um, jump tech to be able to land as many headshots because it's a lot easier with a bar dish. So far I'm ahead and I'm winning this trade. The homie hit me like 5 times, which each and every time he hit me, none of those attacks were headshot. If he would headshot me 2, maybe 3 times in this fight, I would have been dead, but he didn't. Each and every time he hit me, it was my arms or legs. The guy was my complete counter, but I barely was able to survive and save the day. Very next thing I decided to do is to make sure that I'm full HP after I drag the centipede out. And basically, after that, I went and I resurrected the skinny pit. The moment I get out, unfortunately, I came across a team that was being chased by another team. The only thing I could do here is to sit on my dick and wait until they decide to pass by. The fight went on for fucking minutes. None of them wanted to leave this area until um, they actually did. They decided to rush in and finally I was able to squeeze through this little tiny hole and barely was able to get out of this area. Basically, I tried to resurrect Skinny Pete, I gave him all the good stuff, pretty much, and most of his things um, surgical, he was able to heal up. And literally right after we got a warlock that came from fucking nowhere, apparently for exact same reasons, he tried to cook both me and Skinny Pit, but little did the homie know that the puddle works both way. Tried to get in and the homie got more cooked than he probably should have. I have no fucking health, but I don't give a shit. I don't need health, I'm a fucking barb. I'm a black barbarian and my own damn toast. The homie tried to pull his sword out, but he's just not good enough. I killed him in a couple of hits, and basically the day was saved once again. Right after we have looted infinite amount of loot, pretty much the amount of stuff we ended up getting was once again absurd. We run out of space, and I hate the fact that I can't carry all the stuff I'd like to have. I took the portal, Skinny Pit took extract, we both got out and we went into the next game. We run directly into the middle room, pretty much, we gotta make sure there is no players here before we go anywhere else. Gates are open, it means we have players here, we have to be on the lookout, we gotta be very patient. Mommy is already here, it means someone drug it all the way here. We came across two players, double barb, skinny pee, started to pre-buff, I use the potion of protection, I wanna get hit too hard. It's a double blue variance, I came across another team to the right side and I noticed one thing in particular, that one of the barbs is lost. I killed the homie in two hits, I ducked. The homie missed his second hit, I absolutely destroyed the guy as well. We both missed because we're two bots, but I am slightly better. I healed up and pretty much that the outcome of the first trade. Run into the middle, Skinny Pete buffed me all the way, we came across a target. Didn't want to break this door in particular because... Uh, I didn't want to let them know that I have a crush. I got buffed, I got a shield. Feeling pretty good. Right now we have an option whether or not whether we want to push. It all depends on how many players we're gonna come across. 
we went in, I saw a full play fighter. You don't want to mess around with a full play fighter because those are fucking dangerous. Too many teams in the same place. We have at least four teams, including us. I came across a cleric, I started to blast him, but unfortunately I did not have enough range even though I had the weapon with the highest reach. Tried to chase the guy, I missed every single Francescus other than a few. And basically now we have another guy, so in one place we have another multiple teams and here we have additional cleric. The fighter is circling around, god knows what the fuck is he doing, whether or not he is on the um, cleric's team. Who fucking knows? The homie got absolutely fucking deleted. We tried to loot, we took majority of the stuff up until the point where a fucking bear fell on my head. I love this. Unfortunately, I died. I got a little too cocky, I got hit once and I should have got away. When you're playing in a duos, your health is far more important than the health of people you're fighting with. We got multiple of teams, we got a fighter, we got a cleric. All of them are not in the same team, they're playing separately, they're not trying to contribute to a fight or help each other. Skinny Pete dropped all the stuff in the corner. I told him that it's ideally um, he dropped it somewhere so he will be able to take all the stuff that I have in case if he tries to retrieve it. And that's the exact plan. The homie dropped everything so that nobody would be able to take his possession to run back directly and meet fight, mid confrontation, risked his life, did best to his abilities, opened the door up, punched the second door with the hellfire, pre-buffed, made sure that he is fully ready, and uh, here we go, we have a wizard zapping the fuck out of people, um, skinny pit squeezed in, took all the good stuff, and pretty much, unfortunately, Bardish was taken and it was kinda gone. On a good note, we have a resurrection shrine very close in the north room, in the zombie room. I'd also call it this way. Pretty much right after Skinny Pete directly went there and healed me up. I'm back, but I don't have my Bardish, but I do have a Felon Axe. Skinny Pete is harassing this poor cleric after hitting him multiple times. The cleric accepted his destiny and just ate that sword. Wow, that was devastating, not gonna lie. The homie couldn't handle the gravity and luckily we were able to retrieve majority of the gear set. At least we have a Felon Axe and uh, all the Francesca Axe and pretty much that's all you need for another good fight. We went on a chase, pretty much we have Francesca axes and a Felon axe. We don't have rings or all the most important resources, we just started to chase them. Pretty much it doesn't even matter what we have, we were out there on the hunt, we are here to get the revenge and get all our cheese back. Unfortunately, I will show you the whole thing on how we were chasing them step by step. Some people may find it interesting, if you're not, well, you can skip ahead 15 seconds later, pretty much that's where the fight is gonna be. Or 30 seconds. Pretty much skinny pit sitting on them toes while I try to make sure I don't step in a potential trap. We got all the way to the prison room, everybody is still running away, no one is interested in the fight. Skinny Pete sitting on the ranger while I heard the guy to our left and basically that's the friend. I used the rage Achilles, I used hit. I hit the homie while not having literally nothing in my inventory. Killed the homie with three hits, homie got completely owned and Skinny Pete deleted the ranger. Now we're back on track, now we probably even made a lot more than we lost. The gear set that this guy brought was crazy and not just that, the amount of the rings the homie brought in was fucking insane. This probably would be enough to cover up for at least three gear sets that we lost, but at the end of the day we're not here for the loot, we are here to clap them chicks. After we have looted this up, Unfortunately, Skinny Pete got trapped and I tried to fight up until the very end point. I tried to make it in time to assist him, but fighting a warlock and the wizard probably was not the best idea. I wanted to fight them down bad, we only had one minute and um, basically after staying in the raid for another 10 seconds, 
I decided to just simply take a extract. None of them wanted to really fight me. Probably one of them was very low. The warlock fucked off. Two portals are open. I don't want to take none of them. I want to fucking fight them. But um, probably the smart choice would be just to take extract. And this is what I ended up doing after I decided to chase this homie for a few more seconds. The homie nearly got stuck. I literally fucking almost got happy. But unfortunately... We had to take extract, or otherwise we would end up getting stuck here. He's getting cooked? No, he, he got out. We check the prison room, like usual, no one, and uh, there is no one, you just go south and then you do um, counterclockwise. Pretty much at some point you will end up finding someone. We came across a bar, the door was open, I assumed there was a rogue, I got a buff. We have a warlock and a bar. I missed my first hit, unfortunately the barb hit me once and he wasn't able to make it. The buffs that I got from the warlock is ridiculous. The power of sacrifice plus additional damage is way, way stronger than I ever thought it actually would be. I thought the homie would turn on me, but um, he didn't, and then he just died. Somehow. <laughs> we tried to loot, we heard some noise, and pretty much the moment we went back, we came across two rogues. One of them tried to ambush, but um, it didn't really work. It stopped the homie a couple of times, he had died, the other one tried to run away, was completely that fucking move completely didn't make any sense, but um, listen, it is what it is. The thing is, if you get to see the gear that they have, you probably would get traumatized, because they are fucking geared, and it absolutely doesn't make sense that they brought in such good gear, but they end up doing absolutely nothing other than the fact that they tried to run away after I hit him a couple of times. Well, that's just the power of a blackberry, and what can you do, you know what I mean? Probably it is the right move to start running away the moment you see this monstrosity. They did their absolute best, but unfortunately they were not fast enough to get away from a slow 300 move speed barbarian. <laughs> right after we decided to get to the elevator, we already had way too much stuff, so we just went and extracted. We saw a team right after I at least did, but we had already way too much, so there was no point fighting them when our inventory is filled up with items. Alright, so pretty much right after I decided to go and play a little bit of Solus. After that, after the game, I played multiple games, and um, some games were good, but even though I ended up getting kills, I ended up getting ultimately fucked by some random circumstances. In the previous game, I ended up dying to a guy who locked me out. Um, it was a bear. Before that, I ended up getting killed by a buckler fighter. I step in a trap. Um, yeah, some stuff fucking just happened, so it's not that big of a deal. And hopefully in this game around, we will be able to actually make a little come up. Pretty much the amount of gear there is in lobbies is absolutely insane. And... Um, Basically, yeah, as long as we get a couple of kills, we're good to go. So far, each and every lobby that I fought was just like absolutely filled up with players. Oh, here we go, we have a guy. Ranger. Fighter. You bitch. Interesting. Let's see what the homie has. Survival bow and the long sword. I might as well start getting um, on a fighter and play less on the barb. But I still want to do get a little better with uh, warm hammer. But let's see. If it doesn't feel good, fuck it. The warhammer does feel like it blows you down way too fucking much, so it's quite questionable. And without rage, it's harder to get close to a person, even with a jump. Interesting. GG. Alright. Gotta make sure I don't get ambushed here. We have door locked or left. Alright, looking clean. Okay. I heard steps already. GG. 
<laughs> we wouldn't be able to loot in peace. Okay. A long sword. He might as well try to trap me here. Nah, he's just trying to attack me. I don't think this spell does any damage really to consider. I tried to bear for him. Okay. We want to stay away from this bullshit. If he traps me down, the bear just fucking deletes. I already died to a bear, I fucking hated it. Don't want this to happen again, so gotta be kinda careful here. Alright. Beautiful gear set, by the way. I honestly just wanna extract. After losing my fucking fighter kit, I just wanna get out and just wanna save it all up. Cause that kit was uh, painful to lose. It was fucking 15,000 gold commitment. I do still have a few skull keys, so... I do have gold, but um, not too much. All right, I do believe we're gonna get an elevator very fast, as long as it don't we get fucking cocked by a third party. It ain't gonna be it. I want to make friends with this guy. Nah, it's not happening. It's another fucking druid. So, we have a druid to our left, we have a druid to our right. Very nice. And I have absolutely no fucking practice whatsoever with the Vormo. Oh, jump towards me? No, 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 no. Almost slapped that bat. <laughs> that sick bear. Oh man, he's probably not gonna let me extract. Bitch. Oh shit, what the fuck? We have another guy here. That's not good. Damn. Fuck. My elevator is gone. Well, I can't really kill a druid, but I could definitely kill a ranger. We could try to kill that ranger as well, but uh, I'm full on load. But the thing is, without rage, it's gonna be a lot harder to get the ranger. I right, could still try it, let's give it a shot, you know, fuck it. Alright. Gotta make sure I don't step in trap. I already did step in trap today. I fucking hated it. Just in case. You bitch! <laughs> okay. Jesus fucking Christ. Alright. Shit. That's not good. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. It's Demo, and I'll see you in the dungeon. Peace out. By the way, if you're still here, you can come and stop by at our Discord channel. Right now we're having a little giveaway, if you're interested you could participate. Pretty much Aftmaster and Admin has uh, provided gold um, for this little giveaway. And uh, yeah, if you're interested you can uh, come and check out. Anyway, it's Demo and I'll see you in the dungeon. Peace out.